What's up, everybody? It's your boy Marsman here, and today we're talking about the new Tenrai event and its relaunch into Halo Infinite. If you like these news update videos, hit that thumbs up and subscribe to support the channel. Now, with the official drop of Tenrai returning back to us again, we obviously are going to be hit with a new set of armors, some new game modes to play, and some new unlockables, free unlockables, which is obviously going to be a big deal for all those Halo fans out there that don't want to have to purchase anything. Now, Tenrai has always been a very interesting kind of event pass that we've seen throughout the entire launch of Halo Infinite. And even since the first trailer that was ever shown for the lead up to Halo Infinite's release, a lot of fans were looking forward to seeing kind of how these different types of armors and kind of cores are going to look in the Halo universe. And Tenrai was generally considered to be one of the most popular different event passes mainly because of its very unique aesthetic it's very different compared to a lot of others that we've seen so far and with Tenrai we see a lot of new unlockables when it comes to armor pieces and just weapon models which I think a lot of people were excited about especially how well recently with season four we saw a bunch of new different things kind of being dropped here but even that being the case what I think is very unique is really the aesthetic of how different Tenrai is now compared to what it was when we first had taken a look at because not only only are you going to see different helmets and variations along that way but you're also going to see a lot of different auras that you can now place upon your spartan spirited thoughts which is kind of makes your spartan helmet look like it's a demon the whisk away which is kind of like a slice blade when you cut through somebody when you get a kill or even the new banded crimson dawn model which is very unique and it has a really cool concept with the dragon on it and i think that they did a great job when it comes to providing different unlockables that you can earn by just playing the game and at the same time i can criticize them for the pricing of the store item i don't get me wrong i know in comparing the store items prices to others this is no new thing i feel like this has always been a pretty standard issue when it comes to free to play games but some of the prices here are a little outrageous i think one of the biggest things i saw was the kind of triple bundle of 34 dollars between all three store bundles that were released for tenrai is a little outrageous being 34 dollars in overall sale when you look at the different things you can unlock with them i really do think that they had a lot of cool stuff i just think they would Wish that some of these things were a little cheaper because it would make make more sense when purchasing. We also did see inclusions of things like Social Skirmish, which is the main game mode for this Tenrai event, as well as the inclusion of Ranked Doubles, which unfortunately seems to be kind of that least played ranked playlist so far and i think a lot of people were are already missing ranked slayer but probably the best thing overall that i'm happy about is the continuation of squad battle just ecstatic knowing that halo has gotten a new playlist that returns back to that old style of big team battle that i made a whole video on you can check that out but it does give off a lot of those classic vibes brings back halo 3 remake maps and i'm really hoping that they continue adding upon this playlist because a lot of people are already enjoying it and do to this inclusion of squad battle and some of the new changes they've done with armor pieces and free you know content that we're getting we've seen a boost in population on both steam and on the xbox kind of population of halo infinite overall i think Tenrai coming back is a great thing. It provides a lot of cool free content, some store content if you're really looking to buy anything. But the playlists, I think, are pretty damn cool. And they did the smartest thing, which was keep your most played playlist intact. Do not remove them. Let them grow. Let them let people enjoy them. I think that's the biggest thing that 343 did here. But overall, what do you think about the Tenrai event? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? Or is there anything that you wish they had changed or added to it? I'll tell you right now, I'm really hoping they add the Hibusa helmet at some point. But let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you haven't done so yet, hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. Until next time, this is Marsman signing off. Peace out, guys.